Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Love Connection reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me. Decks I'm using, social media, personal readings, tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. be greatly appreciated. Thank you everybody for all your support uh, to the channel. really means a lot to me. New subscribers, thank you, thank you. Those who reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So all your support really does help the channel grow and flourish. Thank you for being a part of that. And thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is for Aquarius. Love connection. This can be any type of connection that you have with somebody or that you did have with somebody. You could be wondering about an ex. You could like like somebody and you think they like you um you could be in separation um it could be anything you could be married you could be dating you could be just committed whatever your situation is here and the person you're wondering about this will be for you so hopefully it'll resonate for you if it doesn't stick out for the next one or check the playlist below in the description box for past readings disregard the dates if it resonates then it's probably for you all right, Aquarius, happy fall, happy Halloween. Well, we're in November. I don't know why I'm saying happy Halloween because it's, um, I'm doing this now and it's like the second week of November. So, <laughs> I mean, October. So I'm thinking it's, you know, coming into Halloween. So, okay. So hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall anyway, happy fall. All right, so Aquarius, let's see. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so whatever we get here, if you don't resonate with this part, that's totally fine. Sort of a little extra bonus. We'll see what kind of energy Aquarius could be dealing with. Planet, sign, element, see what we get. We have one card for Aquarius for this November Love Connection reading spirit. Please, thank you so much. One card for Aquarius. We'll take that one. Let's see what we have. We have Saturn. So Saturn, I believe, is Capricorn. So you could be you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, if not, that is totally fine. But Capricorn, uh, not Capricorn, Saturn is about ambition, goals, security, lessons, challenges. So I don't. We'll see how that plays into your reading. It may or may not. It could be just. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. And the Capricorn also represents in the Major Arcana and the Tarot, the Devil, which is about toxic energy. So I don't know if that'll play in at all. We'll see. Um, so let's see. Let's get an overall love connection energy. It's too many. Let's get an overall love connection energy between you, you and your person, whoever you're thinking about out at this time for November for Aquarius love connection. Wow. Helpful people. So, hmm. so you may both be seeking help and advice from others around you, either together separately. This could even be counseling therapy, or it could be you're asking people to help you to connect with somebody uh, to set you up with somebody um, or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Helpful people. So let's get one. See how that plays in. So let's get one for you. I'm going to place you here and your person here. But if at any time you feel like that this side over here is you and this side over there is them, you can flip, flop, switch, reverse the sides, the energies, anytime you see fit. That's how tarot works. This is a general collective reading. It's not a personal reading, so you take what resonates, you throw away what doesn't. Okay. So I speak of all that in the description box below, so I don't have to say it in every reading. Um, usually people who watch readings, they know how they work. Anybody new, I would suggest to please read the description box below. Alrighty. Wow. Aquarius. I think the cards want to talk yet. Let's get one for you. And one for your person, one for your person, throwing that one. Let's see how you are feeling about them and this connection. A year from now, 
wow. So you, you feel like things are going very slow. <laughs> and you're like, why is it taking so long? And you're like, hmm, I don't know. So, and they have peaceful resolution. Hmm. So, huh. So I feel like they want to work things out with you. Um, if there's a situation going on right now, uh, could be this toxic energy here and you're just seeking advice and help from others around you, like I said, separately or even together. Uh, but you're, you're feeling like something a year from now. I don't know what that means. We'll clarify with tarot. But I feel like they want to work things out on their side. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Recovery. Wow, exactly. And I had just said maybe um, clearing some toxic energy here. Hmm. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that plays in. All right. So, let's clarify all this with the tarot for you, Aquarius. Let's clarify this for Aquarius spirit, please. What's going on? In this situation let's clarify Aquarians energy here with a year from now what is that about why do we have a year from now a year from now on this side why is that here oh, too many well, let's take this one the knight of cups so this is water energy cancer Scorpio Pisces so this is actually taking action coming forward, you know, either with, you know, coming forward with either a love offer or affection or um, commun affectionate communication, loving communication, coming, you know, forward and making the gestures. Could be, you know, a gesture of an apology, a gesture of just love and affection, compassion, peaceful resolution. So, so you have that, this side has that in their energy. So let's clarify uh, the other side now with peaceful resolution. What is that about for Aquarius, for November love connection spirit, please? Thank you so much. The Six of Cups, wow. So this is thinking back, nostalgia, memories. Um, yeah, they're thinking back on this connection and they're like thinking back on all the memories. You could even have uh, children with this person. Maybe you've been separated for a year. Maybe you took a break. Um, a year is a long time, though. Or maybe trouble started a year ago. And it could be now that things are starting. Maybe things are starting to work out. And it could, couldn't, you know, that doesn't have to mean, no, a year from now. It could be maybe it was a year-long process. Maybe there were some difficulties working through them. And resolving them was like a year-long process. So I feel like they don't want to lose you because they think back on all the happy times, the good times, the memories. Even you know if you've had children, and maybe you've known this person since childhood. So I see here, you know, you're wanting to also with the Knight of Cups energy. It's that compassionate, peaceful kind of energy, apology, making that action, that movement forward. And they're thinking back, too, and they really don't want to lose you either because they're thinking back on all the good times, memories. You could have even had past lives with this person. All right, so let's clarify you with the Knight of Cups here. The Two of Swords. So making a decision here. Your energy, that's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, you know, maybe, you know, this is having to decide on something here or, you know, not being able to decide on something. So let's clarify. Let's clarify them. Let's clarify them. It's too many. With the Six of Cups. Let's clarify them. With the Six of Cups. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. The Eight of Cups. So this is an energy of walking away, but also walking too. Walking away from something unfulfilling, but you can always walk to something more, towards something more fulfilling. So I feel like, 
I think you made a decision here. I mean, it might have, like I said, been a year-long process here with this recovery of recovering this. Um, and maybe they did walk away for a time, but now they want to come in with a peaceful resolution because I feel like six here, you know, they might have left and come back. Um, and now they want a peaceful resolution. They know, this is soulmate energy, they know you're their soulmate. And you made a decision here to also take that action of making a peaceful resolution. And helpful people, again, could bend therapy, counseling, advice, guidance from friends, family, um, and that sort of energy. And clearing all that toxic energy with the Capricorn Devil energy. So let's see if we can get um, your actual situation. So we have the Four of Cups here. That's attached to you. And now we have the Emperor. I feel like that belongs on their side. And one for the connective energy, the Nine of Cups. Wow. So, yeah, I feel like here, Four of Cups energy, you know, you took some time to think about it. You know, what do I want to do? Do I want to work it out with this person? Do I not? Do I want to go out? You know, and that's making that decision and thinking about it. You know, maybe it felt kind of stagnant and boring or you were stagnant and bored for a time with this person. And you just didn't know what to do. But I think you made that decision to come back together with this person. And they have the emperor energy. So that's someone who takes charge, takes control. So I feel like they just finally made, they made the decision too. They finally just took charge, took control and decided to come back, to return, to have that peaceful resolution, to reunite with their soulmate. And then right in the middle here of your spread between the two of you is wishes and dreams coming true and wish fulfillment. And now like overindulging in one another once again. Love, happiness, joy, wishes, dreams coming true now for the, you know, for the two of you. Connective energy there. So let's get a couple clarifiers for this situation. Now I don't know what happened, why, uh, why, you know, you might have separated and came back together. Maybe you even got a legal separation, but now you decided to come back together. So let's get some clarifiers for this. The King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So we have a King and a Queen here. They're not the same suit, but still can be soulmate energy. So, you know, fiery, you know, passionate energy here. So I feel like the spark came back in this relationship. The love and the passion, the love and the passion came back. You reunited, came back together, and the love and the passion is back. So, yeah, I feel like definitely, yeah, I don't know, like I said, I don't know the situation, but now we have passion and we have love back. So, passion and love is back <laughs> for you, Aquarius. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what your advice is. So, we have the Five of Cups. Hmm. That's sad. Loneliness. Uh, hurt feelings. And the Four of Coins. Wow. So, I feel like we have Earth energy here. I mean, we have, we don't have a lot of swords. Well, no, we don't have a lot of swords here. But, well, we got the Two of Swords. We have all the signs on the table here. So, I mean, you've got the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So I feel like now you really want to hold on to this person. Now you don't want to let them go. You see their value and their worth now. And you don't want to be hurt and lonely and sad again. You just want to hold on to them and not let them go. Here with this energy. That's what I'm feeling with that. But we're going to clarify. Let's clarify this. Advice is to hold on to them. <laughs> because without them, I think you just felt very sad, lonely. The time apart, you came to realize how sad and lonely uh, and hurt you were without them. And now your advice is not to let them go. Hold on to them. The Eight of Swords and the Seven of Coins. So this is your advice. So mental blockage and you know planting the seeds and waiting for the harvest. But then you have mental entrapment and mental blockage. Hmm. 
So I feel like, you know, you just need to let go of any doubts, fears in your mind that you have stuck in your head, that this may take time, but it will, to be patient, that it will grow and prosper once again, because the love and passion is back. The value and the worth is there, you know, and you don't have to worry with the Eight of Swords and be stuck in your head about, oh, what if I lose this person again? What if I can't hold on to them? You know, it might just take time, more time, and just asking you to be patient. Just to be patient with this. All right, so let's see. See what the outcome here. We got the Ace of Coins. So this is a brand new beginning. So growth, stability, abundance here, long term energy. Um, you know, recovering this connection for the long term. A lot of growth, abundance, and prosperity and stability. So let's clarify with that. So we have, yeah, the chariot and the five of wands. So you can overcome any conflict you have in your mind or if there's been any more conflict between the two of you. You can move this forward in a more balanced, positive energy uh, with the chariot energy here. Moving forward. Um, this is moving forward quickly. So you may think it's stagnant and slow and taking a very long time to recover this, to come back together, to get this back on track. But I think once you both align with one another, it's going to move forward very quickly. Uh, very balanced energy, be very successful. And you can overcome any conflict that you have with you, you know, inside you. Or if there's, you know, conflict that may arise, either people around you or that kind of energy, um, that can be overcome because you have all this abundance here for the long term, the Ace of Pentacles. So there's the brand new beginning, starting over. And this time it's going to stick. So on the bottom, we have the hanged man. So yeah, I think things were on pause, on break for a while here. And actually, this is in reverse. So I don't know how that got in reverse, but reverse. So yeah, coming out of that stick, stuck, stillness um, energy. And now things are moving forward, taking action. You know, seeing things from all perspectives, thinking about things you know, hung back for a while, but now ready to move and take action. Yeah, there's been heartache and pain here in this separation. I don't know if there was any third party involvement or not, but this is just very deep, painful hurt uh, in your heart. I feel from being apart from this person, uh, being confused for a while here, daydreamy kind of energy about options uh, and just confusion. You know, where is this going to go? What's going to happen? Yeah, Nine of Swords energy, just thinking up all night, stress, anxiety, worry, that's your energy. Seven of Swords, so I don't know if somebody was sneaking out here for a time or worried that, you know, is my person going to sneak away in the middle of the night? I don't know if that makes sense for anybody. Um, but, you know, balance now, you know, balance being, being brought back into this connection and justice being served here. So you got two cards here. Of bringing balance back into the situation truth clarity and getting the justice once again in this connection in the balance again so a lot of cards of balance here balance in this connection bring justice back in very balanced energy you know it's kind of sneaky decisive energy here with the seven of swords so i don't know for a time if somebody was sneaking out or what they were doing and being worried about that and confused about that is there a third party being very hurt but now we're coming out of that energy and we're leaving that behind so i mean there couldn't have been a third party maybe they're just going out with friends and drinking or you know working too much it doesn't have to be another person it can be anybody anything anybody any i can't even talk <laughs> anything anybody does too much of that affects a relationship so it can be overworking spent Spending too many time, too much time with friends. It's been a long day. I'm very tired. So, um, playing video games. It can be anything. Anybody does too much of that affects a relationship. So, I feel like we're coming out of that energy now. Uh, things are being worked out. Conflict is going to be overcame. Fears, doubts, worry, stress, hurt, all that's going to be overcome. I feel like you're going to want to hold on to each other now and not let go. Rebuilding the relationship, uh, moving forward with a lot of stability and growth. 
and being successful. So it's a good energy. Like I said, only you know your situation. I don't know, um, but definitely see recovery here, getting help that you needed to recover this, whatever that was for you. All right. So like I said, it could have been a year long process for some of you. I mean, this could be any kind of connection it could have been a marriage. It could have been, um, it's a long-term commitment, common law, it could have been anything here. All right. So let's get some extra energy here for you, Aquarius. I feel like that, uh, Saturn Capricorn is the devil energy. I feel like just overcome, overcoming that toxic energy, wherever it was between the two of you overcoming that reminder. Don't forget. 10. So 10 is an ending and then one is a new beginning. So I really feel like here, you know, having this time apart uh, from this person and remembering, you know, the connection you once had, remembering all the good times from the past. Um, I feel a reminder there. It's like you never forgot them. You never forgot the memories. You never forgot the love and passion you once had, which I feel like is all coming back now. And I think whatever you went through here is like, you'll never forget it. It's like, will always be that reminder in the back of your head. Like, let's not ever go back to that place because you see all the greenery here, all that growth and abundance on this card. As with the Ace of Pentacles here with all the growth and abundance and the promise of forever and stability. All right, so let's see, let's see. I know there's a little porcupine on that card. All right, so let's see if there's any other messages for you, Aquarius. Invisible. So yeah, maybe you felt invisible for a time, maybe before all this happened. Maybe, you know, um, I don't know, maybe you just kind of lost touch with one another and you just felt invisible to one another for a time here. Uh, and seven, there's that seven again of... Um, that deceitful heart kind of energy, confusion. But seven is a divinely guided number, so. The warrior, yeah, it's been a long, hard struggle, fight, and battle here. But, you know, you keep fighting. You got two there. Again, unity, people coming together, uniting. You know, it's been a fight, but you know what? You got through it. The wounded warriors got through it, and now the... Soulmates are reuniting with the Two of Cups. Well, not the Two of Cups, but the Two of Energy. So yeah, Two of Cups. I said Two of Cups, so definitely I feel soulmate energy here. So let's see if there's anything else. Fulfillment, exactly. And you will have fulfillment with this Ace of Coins here. 22, again, with the soulmates coming back together. Being fulfilled in every single way. Emotionally, loving, sexually, everything being totally fulfilled. You see all the red in this card, love and passion, and fulfillment and beauty, seeing the beauty in one another. Once again, in the relationship, in the connection, peace offerings with the rose apologies, showing affection again, gifts, you know, beginning gifts, giving gifts to one another. So on the bottom of the deck here, we have Forbidden, uh, Nine, so, and Hope. So I don't know what the Forbidden means, but um, I don't know. You know, maybe just forbidding, forbidding this to ever happen again between the two of you and never losing hope in this connection ever again. Never losing hope ever again. You know, overcoming all this darkness energy of the separation that was between you and forbidding that to ever happen again between the two of you because we have nine we have nine nine here so that's what i feel with that wow aquarius if this resonated for you please do like share subscribe and comment i love to read the comments hit the bell you'll be notified when i post new readings i do four readings a month and they're all different I do a love connection reading. I do a tarot forecast, which is like a general reading. I do a reading for singles who's coming towards you, sort of a fun reading. We look into who they may be, uh, like what their energy may be like, how you may meet them, when, where, uh, what kind of connection it'll be, and then advice, clarify with tarot. And then I also just started doing uh, messages from spirit, what you need to know at this time. 
So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post a new reading so you don't miss out on that. Good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.